So in this module we are going to discuss what is the solution for 11th question fill in the following blanks. So they are given 15 by 18. So you can divide with 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18. 5 by 6 that is 5 is to 6. So we are getting here is 5. 5 by 6. Then what we have to multiply with 5 in order to get 10. So 5 into 2 that is 10. Like that. So here we are multiplying with 2. So for that what we should multiply with the 6 into 2 we have to do now. 6 into 2 what will get 12. This is 10 by 12. So here obviously we will get 12. 10 by 12. Then what we have to multiply with the 6 in order to get 30. So 6 5s are 30. Then here 5 is constant. So here 6 is there for that 5. So before that. So what it is there? 5 is there 6. This is the least one. So what we have to multiply 5 with the 5. Then you will get 25. This is 25. Next one. So that is 25. The next one. Ratio of breadth and length of the hall 2 is to 5 so breadth and length will be 2 is to 5 then complete the following table that shows the supposable breadth and length of the hall so breadth of the hall 10 and length of the hall is 25 so what we have done is simply that done here 25 means so it is 25 means length is 5 actually 5 into 5 we have to do so here constant is 5. 10 means here this 2 is you can take 2 into 5. Here 5, 5 is constant. So 2 and 5 is there. Then by which number length is multiplied? So here 5 into 10 we have to do. Then you will get 50. So here 10 is there. For that we have to multiply with 2 into 10. What you will get? 20. So 20 we will get next one so here 40 is there so 2 into 40 in order to get 2 into 40 so 2 into 20 if you do then you will get 40 2 it is there here so 2 is there but 20 is here so by which number you have to multiply with the in order to get this value 20 into 5 into 20 20 is constant 5 to the 10 then 100 this value will be 100. Then you can take 30 here. Then 30 if you take means. Here 2 into what we have to multiply 15 in order to get 30. Then 15 is there. Then 5 multiply here. 5 into 15. 75. Then here 75. Let's take here 200. So let's take there 200. So if you 200 means 200 will be there will come from 5 into what we have to multiply get 200 5 40 is a 5 40 is a will get 200 40 is a constant then multiply with 2 with 40 this constant you will get 80 then you write 80 here then another one let's take here uh, Let's take here 40. So 40 means 5 into something if you do means 40 you will get 5 8 sub. So 8 is constant. Then multiply here 2 with 8. Same constant you will get 16 here. Like that you can solve this type of questions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So in this question we are going to discuss uh, Gita Arns. Gita earns 12,000 a month out of which she saves 3,000 rupees. Find the ratio of her expenditure to savings. So first earnings. Earnings will be 12,000 rupees. Then what is the savings? Savings will be 3,000 rupees. Then what is the expenditure for this? So expenditure will be 
income minus savings so what is the needs for that so 12000 minus 3000 then what you'll get so here 9000 will come so this is the total expenditure for that first one what they asked here is expenditure to savings so what is expenditure here 9000 what is the savings here 3000 three zeros three zeros will cancel three ones are three threes are then what is this three by one expenditure to savings is three is to one so that is three is to one second one so what is second one here is savings to income so savings are how much three thousand income is twelve thousands so zero zero cancel three ones are three fours are one is to four so savings to income is one by four that is one is to four then third one expenditure to income so expenditure is what nine thousand income is what twelve thousand then zero zero cancel three threes are three fours are so three by four that is three is to four what is our next question so there are 45 persons in a working in an office 45 persons in working in a office so total 45 persons then total number of females is 25 what is the remaining males find the ratio of something so males will be what total minus females 25 that is 20 so males will be 20 persons then first question the number of so what is fourth first one the number of females to under number of males number of females to number of males number of females are how much 25 number of males will be 20 so 5 5 za 5 4 za so 5 by 4 so that is female is to male will be equal to 5 is to 4 next second one the number of males to the number of females number of males will be by number of females number of males will be 20 by number of females will be 25 then 4 za 5 za that is 4 by 5 will be equal to 4 is to 5 4 is to 5 thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers in this model we are going to discuss a bag of spades contain yellow and green spades for every two yellow spades there are six green sweets. Complete the table based on the above information. So for every yellow sweets, let's take this yellow sweets to green sweets. If you take yellow sweets two, there are two. Six green sweets. Two, two ones are two threes are. Then one is two, three. If one yellow sweet is there, Three green sweets are there. What is the ratio of green to yellow sweets? That is 1 is to 3. That is the value. Then, our next one is yellow are there, green are there. For this, you already known for 6 green sweets, how many yellow sweets? 2 are there. So, 2 yellow sweets are there. Then, total is here 16. For this, for every 6 means 6 into 3 we have to do. So 18 green sweets. So here 24 is there means 24 by 3 we have to do. So 3 ones are 8 za. So 8 plus 24 you will get 32. So 32. Then here 40 is there. So what is that 40 we have to find. So if you have 8 yellow sweets. If you have 8 yellow sweets, how many green sweets will you have? How many green sweets? So, 8 means 8 into 3. If you do 24, this is the green sweets count. So, 3 times to the yellow sweets it will be. Then, 
If there are 32 sweets in the medium size bag, how many will be yellow? 8. So here already there, this is the value. So 8 yellow sweets. 8 yellow sweets will be there. So 8 is a 24. If you add both, you will get 32. This based on this information. In the super fat size bag, there are 40 sweets. How many will be green sweets? So 40 means, let's take yellow sweets will be x. Then green sweets will be 3x. Then it will add both 40. You will get 4x will be equal to 40. Then x will be equal to 40 by 4. 4 ones are 4 tens are. Then x will be equal to 10. So here yellow sweets will be x green sweets will be 3x then yellow will be 10 then it will be 30 so how many will be green 30 then what is our next one so here in the sweet ball there are 16 yellow sweets there are 16 yellow sweets how many total sweets are there in the ball then green sweets will be 16 into 3 so 48 48 then total will be what 16 plus 48 what you'll get 16 plus 48 64 welcome so what there is how many total sweets are in the box so total sweets are 64 what is the green sweets 48 thanks for watching please subscribe so here 1 is to 3 is actually 1 is to 3 is yellow to green sweets sorry for this yellow to green sweets then green to yellow is if you take green as 18 if you take yellow as 6 so 18 by 6 will be 6 ones are 6 threes are then you will get 3 is to 1 green to yellow is 3 is to 1 not 1 is to 3 that is yellow to green thanks for watching please subscribe so in this last question that is 16th one in a school survey it was found that for every four girls there were five boys filling the following table so for every four girls there are five boys so what is this total nine so we have to find out what is the number of boys for this and this one this one all these things so what is the ratio of girls to boys so girls to boys will be equal to girls how many 4 boys how many 5 that is 4 is to 5 so we have to find what is the solution in this in a class of 27 children how many girls how many would be girls so let's take total and number of girls total and number of girls total first values what values we know this values we know so substitute that 9 is 2 girls will be what so you have to take proportionate like this 2 colons so girls will be for 9 4 proportionate total 27 then girls will need to calculate product of means will be equal to product of extremes 4 into 27 will be equal to 9g so 4 into 27 what is that 4 into 27 you will get 108 will be equal to 9g so g will be equal to 108 by 9 then what you will get 9 ones are then 9 twos are then girls will be equal to 12 so here girls will be equal to 12 if total is 27 then what is the boys then so fill the following table that asked again we have to do so if there are 54 children in a class how many are boys so 54 i am writing directly 9 total is to uh, how many uh, 9 is to boys they are given for 5 is as total is 54 then boys so let's take product of means and product of extremes will be equal 9 b will be equal to 5 into 54 5 fours are 20 27 then 9 b then b will be equal to 27 0 by 9 9 ones are 9 thirties are then boys will be equal to 30 then 
if 20 girls had joined in a year, how many boys would join? So 4 is to 5, that is girls to boys is as, girls how many they are given? 20 is as boys. So just we are going to find what is the solution for this. So is as 20 is to B. Then product of means and product of extremes. So 4B, 5 into 20. Then 5 to the 10, 100. Then 4B. Then B will be equal to 100 by 4. 4 ones are 4, 25 are. Then boys will be equal to 25. So boys will be equal to 25. Then what we have to find here is if the boys find then girls will be 4 so for this we have to find the solutions separately so let's start our solution here so 4 is to find girls to boys so 4 is to find girls to boys is as 8 girls we have to find so 5 into 8 4 into x so 40 by 4 then x will be equal to 10. So number of boys will be 10. Then it will be 18. Next one. So 15 boys they are given. Let's take 4 is to 5. Is as I am taking ratio this side. And boys will be. So girls will be. Let's take some x. Is to 15. Then what is this? So 5x will be equal to 60. Then x will be equal to 60 by 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are. Then it will be 12. Then 27. The next question. So here 20 they are given. Same like this only we have to do. What is that is. So here 20 they are given. What is the formula here for boys is. So what we have to take. So 5x will be equal to for finding boys. What you can do here. So 20 into 4. Then x will be equal to 20 into 4 by 5. So how we got 5x here is. So boys here boys 5x. Then here. So here boy 5x with the girls. And 15 in the place of 15 we took uh, 20. And in place of girls that one we took. 4. So 4 like this. 5 1s are 5 4s are. So x will be equal to 16. So here 16 then it will come 36. Then again 45. So total they are given now. So for this you can take number of girls and boys in the ratio of 4x plus 5x like that. Then you can take it as 45. So here 4x plus 5x 5x will be equal to 45, then 9x will be equal to 45, then x will be equal to 45 by 9, 9 ones are 9 fives are, then x will be equal to 5. Then what is the total girls will be? So that is 4x, 4 into 5, it will be 20, then what is the boys? 5x, so 5 into 5, it will be 25. So if you observe this table, here we are getting 20 and 25. So, this is 20, this is 25. You have observed this table. These are all multiples of 5. These are all 4 multiples of 4. So, it is going to increase with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.